Preparations are underway at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse to get ready for this big event. Our Kara Cotton joins us live this morning with an inside look there. Good morning, Key. Good morning, Isabel. Listen, you gave the complete rundown. The best of the best in women's collegiate basketball will take to this very court in just a few days, as early as tomorrow as teams roll into the city. But a court of that magnitude for such elite athletes takes a lot of preparation. So joining me this morning is Kurt Kosmowski with Connor Sports. How are you this morning? Great, Kira. Good morning. How are you? Doing fantastic. Yeah. Thank you so much for being here with us this morning. Talk to me a little bit about what it takes to put together a court like this. Yeah, it's about a nine-month process. Process that starts in the fall with kind of the harvesting of the raw materials, the timber, then moves into a phase where they make the bare panels. It's about 250 panels that come together like a jigsaw puzzle. Then it moves into what's called finishing process, which is the sanding, sealing, painting, and curing. Okay. And that's about a two-month process. Then it's shipped here and installed in about two hours by a crew of about 10 and a, and a counter sports uh, lead technician. That's absolutely amazing. And obviously being able to do that with just 10 people in two hours. Your company has been in business for more than 150 years. Does an install like this ever get old? No, absolutely. I mean, the excitement of it and, and a really exciting thing about it is this is a Great Lake City, right? Okay, yeah, right. so, you know, this is this hardwood and the process of making this is in the wilds of the western upper peninsula of Michigan. Mm -hmm. And it's really a source of pride for the workers in the small town of Amasa in the upper peninsula to be able to see their labor played out on national television on this beautiful court. That's absolutely amazing. Again, as you heard him say, the stage is set again. We're going to find out those final two teams who are going to be competing in the final four later this afternoon. And Kurt has been so kind to give to me a replica of the final four court, guys. So you definitely want to check out those games. Isabel is definitely a sight to see, and the city is ready for this action. Oh, man, Kara, what an awesome keepsake there. That is so special that you get that. And thanks for walking us all through. Makes it even more exciting knowing the work that goes into it. Thanks so much. That's right, you got it.